Hello everyone, welcome to Default Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to install Drupal CMS in your, in your Windows system. So first you have to install WSL so that you can install uh, Drupal CMS with the help of DDEV. So let me show you how you can do that. Now we are going to achieve this by using DDEV. First you have to uh, install WSL in your system. And then if you are having Docker desktop, then install that too. If you are not using any container, uh, for your organization, if you are using uh, Docker Desktop only for development purpose for your local, please don't use uh, Docker Desktop. It will uh, reduce the performance of your Docker site. So you can uh, use Docker CE. So and uh, Docker CE is open source, so you can go with that for your local development. And now we are we are going we are not using Docker Desktop here. I already had Docker Desktop, so I just uninstalled it. And I already had uh, Ubuntu WSL. I uninstalled that too. After uninstalling them, I restarted my system. You do uninstall them and restart your system. Okay. So once that is done, so first you have to make so this link I will add in the description. You just go and have a look into it. I'm going to follow this document to install GDL in my uh, Windows. After that, we will install Drupal in our uh, system. Okay. Not this document, this one. Okay. So here, when you click on Windows, there is a command to install WSL. I can have to install, just run this. It will download and install WSL. Give the username to log in your uh, WSL distro. Now this is done. So after this, you just have to uh, restart your system. Just restart. I'll restart and I'll come back here. So now I rebooted my system. Now we are going to install this. So just run this command. So we are uh, installing Ubuntu distribution. And uh, here I have given DDA here. Uh, you can give any name. So I can, I'm going to give Drupal uh, CMS. So if you already have any Ubuntu distro, so give some other name because it will be conflict if Ubuntu is already there. So I'm giving, I already have Ubuntu. So I'm giving new name here and enter. Let it get installed completely. So you have to give the username and password to log into the distro. Now everything done successfully. So you can check that whether it is installed or not by using this command. That's it. So we are inside the distro. So now we just visit it. Here you can see. Google CMS is there and Ubuntu is there. Then we have to install the installer. So click on this link and go down. So you will get an exe file here. Just install, download and install it. So AMD. Here it is, just double click and install it. 
So it will act like a bridge between your distro and the Windows core system. And let it get installed. So I already have Ubuntu. I don't want that. So we can unregister it. <laughs> let me get the command for the. So this is the command to unregister. I from I from unregister Ubuntu. It is unregistered. Now in Ubuntu, you can see only how the store is there. I think we really set store successfully. And finish it now. So DDL is installed next. So now uh, after this, what you have to do? Go to your distro because CMS open it. And here uh, you have to give the username password of which you configured while installing this distro. So it's not asking, it is asking give that username and password. So once that is done, we, we, I'm under the profile page and then we just create a, a folder. So follow this link and I'll share all the link. You just have to download it. And then here you have to configure. The document and the project type. Okay, so now this is done. And then next, what you have to do? Run this command data start. Yes. It will uh, install all the web source, whatever you need. So as a container, so you can see image is getting full detail. And then compose a create project of Google CMS. So whatever command you are running in say the detail uh poster environment, you have to run compose create project and then menu. So you have to add detail dash detail composer like that. Okay. So let it get complete. So now all the required containers are uh, installed. You can check them by running the command docker ps. So you can see some sort of containers are installed, MariaDB, web server, whatever required. And next you have to run this command to download your Drupal uh, project. So here yeah, it will download the complete project for us. So once it is downloaded, you can see everything is downloaded. You can see the web. Unless you can see all our downloaded. Okay.
So now that our Google site is down there, so you have to then detail launch. So it will uh, launch your Google site. So here you can see it is launched. Let me open it in the Google. So you have to install your Google CMS. You can do any, uh, you can select any recipes while you are installing. So in the upcoming video, I will uh, post a video about recipes and whatever feature we have in Drupal CMS, I will post all of them. So currently I am not selecting any recipes. Next. Design password, admin.com. You take it install. So now you can see we installed Drupal CMS in uh, Windows by using uh, WSL. So in upcoming videos, I will post about whatever the new feature we have in Drupal CMS. And, and that's it about this video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.